Thanks, Ryan. Sports betting in Georgia has seen a lot of progress under the Gold Dome within the last few weeks. Our Brianna Cook is live in Atlanta with what changes were made to a sports betting bill. Brianna. Amanda, we are getting closer to legalizing sports betting in Georgia, but with the current proposal, it would leave the final decision up to Georgia voters. A sports betting bill is on its way to the House of Representatives after passing in the Senate. Senate Bill 386 would be overseen by the Georgia Lottery Corp and award licenses to 16 online sports betting providers. Senator Clinton Dixon says sports betting already happens illegally in Georgia, but this way it would bring in money to the state. This would create those regulations and parameters to protect betters, and it would also generate uh, just over $100 million based on the estimates uh, that would go to Georgia Pre-K and to the Hope Scholarship and the Zell Miller Scholarship. The bill calls for 20% of the adjusted gross revenues from sports betting to go towards those programs. Senator Harold Jones says if the bill does not make it, Georgia will be losing out on potential money. But we are leaving a source of funding on the table if we not, do not go forward. It is time to move forward on this particular piece of legislation. With the bill, five licenses will go to Atlanta Pro Sports Teams, and one license will be going to the Augusta National Golf Club, the Professional Golf Association, and the Atlanta Motor Speedway. The original version of the bill would legalize sports betting without taking the issue to Georgia voters in the form of a constitutional amendment, unlike other sports betting bills still in committees. However, Senator Bill Cowsert amended the bill. He says it's what's best for Georgia's voters. To pass this bill, without making it be contingent upon the voters of this state being allowed to weigh in and approve it is disingenuous at best and just sneaky to try to circumvent the voters of the state of Georgia. And I don't understand why we would want to do that. The amendment and the bill were passed and it now heads to the House of Representatives. Reporting live in Atlanta, Brianna Cook, WGXA News.